What's going on y'all, Victor Chambers here, back with another video, and I'm just leaving a signing and going to a showing um, that I have uh, scheduled. I actually have two signings today and three showings. My day started a little later, so this first signing was at one o'clock, and, uh, and then I have a showing at 3.30. Um, a signing at 5.30 and then two showings between 6.30 and 7, 7.30ish. Um, so I'm going to my showing now. I might have time to drop off this loan package at FedEx. Um, so we'll see if I have time to actually do that. Um, but other than that, that's my, my day today. I feel like I'm playing catch up from last week because last week was was slow um, so I'm trying to sneak in uh, enough this week to kind of help me make up for last week so that when we get to uh, the last two weeks of the month I'm not like killing myself because I still you know have a goal I want to meet for the month so uh, so yeah that's what I'm what I'm trying to do this week just trying to play play catch up so I think I'll probably end up doing like about 10 signings this week, something like that. So I wanted to tell you about the signing I just got out of. You know, I went too far for this one. I actually drove too far, uh, farther than I would normally drive uh, for a signing. It was about 30 minutes um, and it wasn't hard to get to, but it was, it was just too far. I kind of try to not go beyond a certain exit um, off of you know the major parkway where I live um, I try not to go above a certain exit and this one took me like a few exits beyond that um, again not hard to get to and I've done a couple signings up this way uh, but it was just further than I actually want to want to travel personally um, but then on top of that um, I get to the signing and it's a it's husband and a wife, but just the husband is the borrower. Um, and it's a Texas property. Um, so we ran into a bit of an issue where I actually thought we might have had to halt the signing because the wife uh, was listed on the deed of trust and she was listed on quite a few of the, the title documents um, and the borrower wasn't expecting that. So we were on the phone with his lender for quite a while that the borrower is trying to explain it to the lender the lender kept interrupting him and they were just like not understanding each other but I ended up saying well this is what he's saying right and then the lender tried to interrupt me and so I said um, no actually you've interrupted him you've interrupted me just let me finish what I'm saying and hopefully it can help bring some clarity right um, so I, I explained what the borrower was trying to say uh, because what happened is that it was a property, an investment property that the borrower purchased in Texas. The deed, when he the deed of trust when he purchased it, didn't have his wife on it. But then when he refinanced it today, um, the deed had his wife on it. So he was trying to understand, well, how did my wife get on the deed, uh, on the deed of trust, and on title when she wasn't on title when I purchased it? And so the lender was trying to explain, explain all of that to the borrower. Uh, he actually showed me the deed of trust that he signed when he bought the property and she wasn't on there. Um, and, but on this deed of trust, she was on there. Um, so the lender was, you know, basically explaining, you know, how these lenders have a, uh, basically a spousal matrix, uh, which, you know, by state kind of defines legally um, how the documents have to be drafted. I imagine all lenders have a uh, have a all title companies and lenders have a document or some sort of matrix like that. Uh, but I, I understood both of what they were saying. Um, but you know there just seemed to be confusion, and it was it kind of took a while for the borrower to get comfortable with what the docs you know what the docs were reflecting. Um, and then on top of that, the wife she was home, but she was working. And she, you know, they didn't anticipate that she would have to sign so many documents. Um, and she was just kind of like, not really 
present and <laughs> not I mean she was there but she was like kind of in and out because she had meetings and things and so we're like signing and I'm flipping back through and and, and you know doing all of this stuff because <clears throat> she had to kind of be in and out and it was just it was just frustrating it actually took an hour and 45 minutes which is way longer than a signing should take um you know, it kind of got to the point where I had to say, look, this is, this is, you know, taking a little longer than it should between, you know, the conversation with the lender and then, you know, the, the signer not being, you know, sure about certain documents and things. And, um, it was just frustrating. Um, you know, like I said, it took, it took way longer than it should have. Uh, but you know, some, some days are like that, you know, some signings are like that where, you know, the borrower, I mean, these borrowers aren't experts at, <laughs> at these documents and what they're signing and, and title and state laws and things like that. And in many cases, you know, we aren't either. We're just trying to navigate them through, um, signing the doc successfully, um, notarizing them and making sure that everything is done so that everything can be processed uh, correctly <clears throat> but it was um I'm not gonna lie it was definitely frustrating and then their dog was trying to climb on me and I'm like look I don't got time to be bothered with no pets especially given that <laughs> that it, it was just taking longer than it should have and I don't know um, and on top of all of that the docs were late so the signing was at one I didn't get docs till about 11.30, um, actually about 11.45, almost 12 o'clock, and so I had to basically print the docs and go, and then on top of that, um, another reason why the signing took so long is because, you know, there's a lot of documents that were Texas specific, and then all the notary blocks had state of Texas, county of Blase. Uh, and so I had to, you know, fix all of those notary blocks um, and just be extra cautious with regard to making sure that stuff was correct. Um, so overall, it was kind of a kind of a painful signing to do. It was just a little um, a little annoying. I was trying to figure out why in the world are all these docs in here, um, but I guess it's because it's Texas. You know, y'all Texas notaries can holler at me down in the comments below tell me about your guys experience um, but yeah it was a lot of docs in there I hadn't seen before and I've actually done a couple of Texas signings uh, but some of the documents I hadn't seen in there I hadn't seen before um, y'all have like a mineral mineral rights document and and um, like a Texas disclosure um, marital status a bunch of stuff um, because Texas is a spousal state as well um, so it was interesting, but I'm glad that's done with. I'm heading to my showing, like I said, and gonna get these dots dropped and um, going on about my business. So I don't know if I'll be back with another clip or another video, but just kind of wanted to give you guys an update as I like to do um, on a day in the life. So there you have it.